Hello everyone and welcome to the 9 video blog on Virtuero, a real-time strategy game I'm creating as a solo indie developer. In this update, I'm going to show you the main features I've been working on in the last few weeks, which are defensive structures, new UI elements, and a bigger map. If you watched my previous videos, you might remember these awful grey buttons I was using to control units and buildings. They were obviously temporary, and I've now replaced them with these new ones that have no text, but a letter that shows their shortcuts. As for most things, this is the first iteration, and things might change in the future, but I believe this is a good step forward compared to what I had before. Let me know what you think in the comments. The main feature of this update is the introduction of defensive structures, because I love games where you can build walls and towers. Here, I'm planning the layout of my defensive wall, and as soon as I'm happy with the design, my unit can start to build it. You can also build walls in different stages, and they will adapt automatically to the design you plan. This is only the beginning of my work on defensive structures, so I expect to see much more in my next videos. In my previous videos, I was using a small map that was fitting a single screen. Even if I haven't implemented map navigation yet, I created a new bigger map that I will use to work exactly on that. I will introduce new color tiles that surround non-empty areas to give you a hint of what you're close to find during your exploration. That was all for this update, so it's time to talk about what I'm going to work next. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to implement map navigation as that's a key feature that's been missing for too long. Then I need to decide if I want to focus more on defensive structures, adding upgrades and towers, or if I should focus on units, adding new types and some basic attack mechanics. Let me know what you would prefer in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to follow this project and to see what I'm going to do next. I'll see you next month with a new video. See ya!